Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be breaking down dev blog number 9 for the next game in the World War 1 game series, Isanzo. So today we're going to be talking all about one of the specialty classes in Isanzo, and in particular the Mountaineer or Alpini units. With training and equipment suited to the extreme terrain of the Alps, Mountaineers excel at reconnaissance and infiltrating enemy positions. In reality, the Alpini for the Italians and the Kaiserjäger for the Austro-Hungarians were cherished units. Especially trained to navigate the terrain of the Alps, they served an essential role in combat and provided the necessary intelligence to execute military operations and offensives. Although that informational advantage is a bit meaningless when your commanders have severe and continuous lapses in judgment. So how will these guys translate into gameplay? Well, they'll be represented as a specialized class. The Mountaineer and the Officer are the only two classes that will have access to flare guns, but it will work differently depending on who's using it. To quote the article directly once more, one flare will grant spotting in the targeted area, identifying enemy forces on the minimap, while following it up with a second flare will increase the speed and accuracy of any mortar being aimed by allies within the area. So if the target of the allied mortar fire is within the Mountaineer's flare radius, that mortar crew will have increased efficiency. Other options that can be picked instead of a flare gun are binoculars for traditional style spotting, an ice pick melee weapon, a canteen, no idea what that could be used for, and a bugle which creates an area around the player that has perks like faster sprinting and suppression resistance. The article goes on to then talk about the possible perk choices for the Mountaineer class. For example, the Alpinist perk that gives double vaulting and climbing speed, or the Observer perk that allows them to construct a spotting periscope that can be used by anyone on their team. That's pretty much it in terms of the Mountaineer class, so now, as always, we're going to show off the two guns that were teased here. First, we have the Vetterli 1870-87, which apparently isn't the only variant of the Vetterli in the game. It's a standard 4-round bolt action with good sights, and it should be solid, but likely a bit worse than the 6-round Carcano. The next gun, and the last thing we have to talk about, is the Wurndl, a single-shot breech-loading rifle that was issued to the Austro-Hungarians. This is obviously going to be a good bit worse than the other rifles, as in previous titles all bolt actions one-shotted, a trend I expect to continue with this game. And the only possible advantages I could see with this are higher bullet velocity and or more consistent damage models at range and when penetrating objects. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I know this was a quick one, but be sure to stay tuned for the next dev blog breakdown, which will apparently be about constructible assets. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.